said to you Miami Hurricanes, everybody know We in the different league Throw the U's up with the orange and the green I represent the M what up is YouTube? What they do, Kenny Yaks? Kenny Yaks, Chris here with the first installment of Calhoun Fingernail. I'm sure some of you may be wondering what that is and why I chose that as the title. Well, long story short, Calhoun's Fingernail is where all my videos contain in my opinions and or sports analysis slash, you know, takes on recent news as it pertains to the Miami Hurricanes, which if you couldn't tell is my favorite college football team. And when I say that, feel free to replace the word football with any other sport as well. I'm saying just as sure as they printed out my birth certificate on August 4th, 1989 at North Shore Hospital on North West 95th Street, and that piece of paper contains the word Miami Dade on it, there will be no change in the fact that I am all Miami all the time. So that's exactly how I'm coming, just to let you know what you can expect from me. Um, but yeah, that's enough about me for now. I want to give a shout out to all my fellow Hurricane YouTubers, especially the ones that have been already doing this for years, like, you know, El Birdman, Alonzo1219. All about the U83, my boy Cello D over there on Miami Sports Music, Rick Era, uh, the wholesome one, my boy T Wise, or Wise All About the U, my guy Brandon over there at College Football Viz, can't forget about Kane Shakes Media Channel, you know, that's all of them um, that come to mind right now, but if you could think of somebody else I forgot, comment below and I'll be sure to include them in the next installment of Count Holmes Fingernail, which brings me back to what made me choose that as a title. You know what, well, let me explain. The Miami Hurricanes are five-time national football champions, the first of which was earned after the 1983-84 season in an epic game played between Howard Schnellenberger's Miami Hurricanes and what was called the greatest team ever at the time in Tom Osborne's Nebraska Cornhuskers. On January 2, 1984, with the Miami Hurricanes clinging to a 31-24 lead, having not scored the entire fourth quarter, Nebraska scored a touchdown on a fourth down play late in the fourth quarter, making the score 30-31. to And instead of kicking an extra point and going for the tie, which would have in all likelihood have still won him a national title, Coach Osborne decides to go for a two-point conversion and attempt to win the game and title outright instead. It was at that time that Miami Hurricane safety Kenny Calhoun, with the tip of his fingernail, broke up the pass attempt from Heisman final to Soul American Nebraska quarterback Tony Gill before it got to his target, Jeff Smith preserving a 31-30 lead that proved to be the final score, earning the Miami Hurricanes its first ever national football championship, triggering the dynasty of Kings fans all know and love. As they say, my friends, the rest is history. And that's the story of Kyle Holmes' fingernail. Welcome to episode one. The focus of today's episode is none other than yesterday's addition to Category 20, the 2020 recruiting class of the Miami Hurricanes, what I hope is a strong verbal commit from Miami South Ridge Highs while I receive a Marcus Fleming. I have his highlights here from last season, I believe, and we're going to take that out right about now. Okay, see the gun deep there. And he is gone. This don't look like he is Southridge, though. I don't know. A little like Miami High. Correct me if I'm wrong. Maybe he's just going. He going to South Ridge this upcoming season. Oh, he must not be there yet. Hey, that's my house. Oh, I like that one. He went up and got the ball at the highest point. That's one of the main traits you look for in the wide receiver. A guy that can go up and get the ball at the highest point. I mean, sometimes it depends on the quarterback's you know, ball placement, what he gives you. The fact that he can do that is a plus. It's a possession highlight. He can beat guys deep. He can catch when he open and outrun everybody. No touchdown. Broke his ankle, broke him too. Anybody gonna catch him? Don't look like it. Gone. It's six. End zone. Oh, yeah, I like him. 
Yeah, I caught on that one. That one's still going to fine. Like a little stutter step, stop and go, ram right past him. He's definitely a deep threat. Fifty fifty ball, pull it back to that up the grass, he came down, man. I like that. Ain't afraid to go across the middle. I mean, I want to receive on the stack too, so I mean, this is back to hanging afraid of competition. Uh, that says a lot. People go against 2020 and be a little more thin about it, but you know, still. Pretty short handed. Where's on target? Be killing with the stutter steps. Wow. Caught the ball to Silas Point, end zone six. Catching in traffic. There too. Good 
Need all those. Like he lined up on defense on this one. Okay, got the pick. Thought he got beat across his face. He said even when he beat him, he ain't beat. Picked it off. Good chance. That's it. So yeah, man, there you have it. That was a wide receiver, two-way player, athlete, cornerback, Marcus Fleming, category 20. Hopefully he sticks with the class and go ahead and joins us on signing day and officially roll and rolls in at the school to join the team. I think his highlights were, were pretty impressive overall. They got him right now as a, a three-star, I believe. I'm not saying stars don't matter at all, but I personally would not call myself a star hall by any means. Um, again, that was a recent verbal commit from Marcus Fleming going to Miami Southridge High School next year. Wish you luck for the upcoming season. Uh, again, that's Southridge High School, I believe. That's also the school of uh, several of our other high-priority targets like uh, Tyreek Stevenson and uh, Vontae Williams and a few others. I'll be looking out for y'all, man. That is going to conclude episode one of Calhoun's Fingernail. I hope y'all enjoyed it. I can't say I'm all the way on point yet as far as recording equipment is concerned, but that will change in the near future. I plan on being able to take care of that out of my own pockets, but if one of my viewers should feel so inclined as to donate to such a thing, I most certainly would not have a problem with that at all. PayPal links in the description. Kenny at Chris signing off. Hashtag HRTC. Hands raised, thumbs connected. That's how we throw up to you. Go Kenny. We do it for the game. We represent the U. Miami Hurricanes. Everybody know we in the different league. Huh? Oh, I forgot about the giveaway. Yeah, man, every 50 subscribers I get, I'm going to buy a $50 Amazon gift card to give to somebody, one of my viewers. You can spend it on whatever you want, man. All you got to do to enter the giveaway is smash that thumbs up button, hit the subscribe, and leave a comment saying what you like most about this video. Alright man, can't he act clear signing out for real this time, you dig?